The first person I'm delighted to meet on the first tee at Mount Juliet for the Horizon Irish Open is legendary golfer Des Smith. Des, you're back again this year and always a great support to the Irish Open. Yeah, it's great to be back. I mean, it's going to be an exciting week and uh, lots of great players here and the Pro-Am day has turned out very nice. Yeah, we're fighting off the rain so far. Well, so far, forecast later, but I think for the rest of the week it looks good. Now, you were here this morning supporting Dubai Duty Free, as you are every year, yes. and you've just seen off your players. Mm. So who are they playing with? What pros are they playing with? Well, one of them is playing with Matthew Pavon, one team. The other team has got Soren Kelsgen. And I'm not actually sure who the third team is. But they're very lucky this yeah. year. They get to play with two pros. Yes, they do. Yeah, it's an unusual uh, setup. I've never seen it before. It's mm. very nice because uh, it means the pros can do a bit of practice because the pro-ams can be very long. You can be out there for five and a half hours. So this is a new strategy where one pro plays nine holes mm. and then they get a new pro for the back nine. Then that means the pros are only doing the pro-am for two and a half hours. Yeah and it gives them time to prepare for the tournament. Okay, everybody gets a practice round this year. And the amateurs get a better deal because yes. they play with two players, which Absolutely. is fantastic. Yeah, great team dynamics going on there. Yes. Um, so are you playing this week, this year yourself? No, no, I fully retired. I mean, I'm just down here supporting Dubai Duty Free. I've been their ambassador to the tournament for some years. So uh, Colin McLaughlin's here and the whole team. So it's yeah. nice to be with them. Yeah. They're lovely people. And full capacity this year. Isn't it great to see the crowds back? Yeah, well, I think the Irish Open always gets great crowds, and this is no exception. And the fact that uh, Seamus Power is here, and he has made such a difference in the last year with his performances. And, of course, Shane lowry has been playing great. I wouldn't be surprised if he wins this week because he's been playing well enough to win for some time. Okay. But he just hasn't got over the line yet. I wouldn't be a bit surprised if it happened this week. Um, I, I think he's hoping for it too. Who are you backing this week besides Shane Larry? Well, you know, I don't think Porrick is going to win, but winning the US Senior Open last week was terrific. Mm -hmm. And I think it's given this tournament a nice lift. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I expect somebody like Seamus or, or Shane or one of the more established players, the defending champion is here, Lucas yeah. Herbert. I mean, he's been playing great on the PGA Tour, so... Don't be surprised if they're the names you see at the at the, the end of the week. Okay, Des Smith, as always, it's a pleasure to speak to you. Thank you so much. Thank you.